This is Kamba village, Kiambu County. An area that is synonymous with milk production. It is where we meet George Moturi, a young farmer who has gone against the grain and rears red worms. After graduating from high school, he decided to venture into poultry farming. Due to the high costs associated with poultry, George decided to come up with an innovative way of feeding the brood. So initially I thought it was a good way of producing now worms for chicken. But now, rest after producing for about one year, I found that the reproduction rate is not that much. So it didn't go very well for the chicken feeds, but it went very well for the production of organic fertilizer and organic for your feed. So what exactly does the rearing of red worms entail? You need worms, uh, mostly red worms or African night crawlers. Uh, from that point, you need organic waste or cow dung, pig waste, uh, rabbit droppings. Mostly we use those three types of manure. In retrospect, the 24-year-old explains how failing to breed enough worms for his chicken was a blessing in disguise. Doing it for around a period of one and a half years without gaining anything from it, that is when I started raking into the potential that it has. So that is in the compost or the fertilizer and the foliar fertilizer. Already entrenched in agribusiness for four years, it has not been smooth sailing for him, especially having ventured into a nascent venture. On this day, we meet George improving the structure where he rears his black soldier flies, which are part of his self-sustaining ecosystem that has pigs, chicken and duckweed alongside the red worms. Now, whenever you are introducing something new, uh, which people have not come across, sometimes people do not take it up at once. So you have to train them for wrong. So there is that period of waiting for the farmers maybe to run more on their own. George, who admits his business is lucrative, aims to expand his business and train more people about organic farming. He also has a piece of advice for young people. Now the purpose of the black soldier fries, uh, their purpose is just to lay the eggs. They lay the eggs, they hatch, the eggs will be fed on, or the maggots will either be fed on the, uh, the pigs, droppings, or the chicken. From that point, the maggots will be fed either to the pigs or to the chicken. Then from that point, we have the duckweed. The duckweed uh, is just feeds for the chicken and the pigs. And finally, the waste we get from the pigs, we use it to feed our worms or our maggots. George is nicknamed Waigunyo in his village, loosely translated as the owner of worms. He insists that his thirst for knowledge and desire to learn has seen him succeed so far. While organic farming continues to be encouraged, these red worms form an integral part of many organic farms. Muturi's farm is no exception. Karuga Mwangi, Switch TV.